Hello, welcome to Just Learn Civil. This is the third tutorial in hydropower, and we will learn about gravity dam. We will solve a numerical problem and how to draw phreatic line in this numerical problem. Earth and gravity dam features. It is a gravity dam. Gravity dam because the resisting force is this is the hydrostatic force and the resisting force is self weight of the dam. It has top width and has a trapezoidal cross section as shown in this figure. You can also see this is the homogeneous dam with no core element but here the core element has been placed to make it more impervious. Now construction of gravity dam. Generally it is constructed from the locally available material by excavating the nearby material and no bending materials are used simply they are dumped and compacted by high capacity machines. Earthen dam can be of earthen or rock dam and it can be zoned to make it more impervious as we saw in the previous figure. Earthen filler. Now we will see how the earthen dam fell. 40% of the dam fails by hydraulic filler, 30% by seepage, and 30% by structural filler. Now in the hydraulic filler, we will see the overtopping filler. Overtopping filler means when water level increases during flood time and it overtops the dam, then it falls here and cause scouring and wash out the less cohesive soils and the sand from here as well. So this will cause the overtopping of the dam and this is overtopping failure. Now seepage failure, piping failure means internal cavities are formed, pipe like structures will be formed by eroding or scoring and slowly this pipe is formed and it causes piping failure, internal cavities, displacement of soil particles. Slodging. So this is suppose the phreatic line. Phreatic line is the uppermost saturated line. Below it, all the soil are saturated. So if this is the phreatic line, then in the downstream there will be continuous wetting and drying, which causes failure of this downstream part. So failure of downstream part below phreatic line is slodging. Due to alternate wetting and drying. Now, structural failure foundation slide. If the foundation is soft or slow consolidation happens, consolidation means expulsion of water. The dam is placed here, and the expulsion of water leads to the settlement of soil, which causes the failure of the foundation. Sudden so drawdown on upper side. So, this is the water level initially, and suppose due to any reason the drawdown increases and this is the phreatic line and drawdown increases certain drawdown means suddenly the water level decreases so it will pull pull this soil present here downward means it will give a driving force along the sliding face so this will pull the face of the dam and causes the failure now failure due to leaching of the soluble material when the earth Earth materials are compacted here, then some of the organic materials may be present. So they decay with time and leave cavities. These cavities, suppose this cavity is formed, then the soil above it will settle downward, and in this way, the dam will have settlement, and this settlement causes the failure of the dam. Now, failure due to earthquake, excessive settlement or cracks due to earthquake develops and this causes the failure of the dam. So, these are the introductions of the earthen gravity dam. Now, we will see how to solve this numerical. An earthen gravity dam has a crest width, crest width means top width of 6 meter, freeboard of 1.5 meter, drain pipe of 10 meter at the top. Now, we have to determine the phreatic line ordinate and the specific flow discharge passing through the dam. The value of K is given here. 
we already know it is trapezoidal in shape now as for the given question 6 meter here is the crest width freeboard is 1.5 meter and the height of water is assumed to be at 25 meter from the base this is the water level now suppose the slope in the upstream size is 1 is to 3 and slope in the downstream is 1 is to 2 we know the length of the drain pipe is 10 meter from top so this is 10 meter from top this is drain now draw a phreatic line this is the intersection of phreatic line and the upstream slope and from this point the phreatic line goes up to epsilon h1 h1 is this height of water and epsilon is the value we need to find so this will be the distance between the starting of the phreatic line and the intersection with the face is epsilon h1 so let's find epsilon h1 epsilon is given by 0.44 is divided by 1 plus 1 is divided by 2 mu mu is 3 of stream slope when you put this value you get 0.377 now once we know epsilon we will get epsilon h1 which is 9.43 in this case now this red line is drawn from the top here our objective is to first find b so we will see where the b lies and how to find it here we have to find FB into MU, which is 4.5 in this case. Let's see how to find it. FB is this vertical height. So you can see here a small triangle is formed here. This triangle. We know this height is 1.5 and we need to find the horizontal height. And the slope is 3. So 3 into 1.5 gives us 4.5. We know this is 9.3, this is 4.5 and this value is 6 meter top width. Now assume any point P, X, Y on phreatic line. Draw vertical line which is Y coordinate. Draw horizontal and remember F is the origin. Now, from your origin, you draw a vertical line and this will be our x and this is our y. So, the resultant would be pf. Red represents the pf line resultant. Now, we know phreatic line is parabolic. So, we have to draw our directrix and directrix is at distance x not from origin. Now from the top corner draw this vertical line. We know this is 9.3, 4.5 and this is 6 meter. Now we need to find these two distance. We already know from up to this point it is 10 meter. And we need to find how much would be this. So see this big triangle. Downstream slope is 2. So 2 into this vertical gives us horizontal. Now we need to find what the vertical is. The vertical is 25 plus 1.5. So 25 plus 1.5 into MD gives us this whole length. This whole length. But we know this is 10. This much part is 10. And this much part is 53 here. From here we got it. 53. So remaining would be only 43. Which is here. Now the value of B is between these two blue lines. You can see here we have to find value of B. This was our objective here. We already know how to find now value of B. 9.43 plus 
4.5 plus 6 plus 42 9.43 plus 4.5 plus 6 plus 42 gives us 62.93 now we got uh, b now let's find y naught y naught is the distance from the origin to directrix this is directrix we know the property of parabola that p f is equals to p r that is from origin to any point on the parabola and the perpendicular drawn on the directrix is equal because eccentricity is equals to 1 in parabola so using that property we know the value of p f p f this red line represents the p f p f is equals to this value is x and y root under x square plus root under y square by hypotenuse theorem and p r is equals to p r is equals to x plus x naught now squaring both sides we will get the equation of the parabola we will see later now our objective is to find x naught so when x is equals to this is the origin and when x is equals to p then the line where the this vertical line crosses the parabola is this point so we want the if we put this coordinate here then we will get the value of x naught when x is equals to p b we already know 62.93 when you substitute x is equals to p and then y is equals to 25 because this is the coordinate of parabola then we will get we know x we know y we know x and we will get x naught on solving we will get 4.78 x naught so this value is 4.78 now let's find q we already found x naught and b now our objective is to find q this is from the property of parabola now When x is equals to 0, y is equals to x naught is equals to 4.75. x equals to 0 means at this point. x is equals to 0, y would be here, parabola point. 4.78. Now using the Darcy's law, q is equals to k times of x naught. We already know the value of k from question. And x naught we already found in the previous slide, which was 4.78. Now, when you substitute it, we will get the specific discharge. Now we have to find phreatic line equation. Squaring both sides, we will get these equations. Now x square and x square are cancelled. So the remaining would be y square equals to x naught square plus 2x into x naught. Now when you square root on both sides, you will get y is equals to square root of x naught square plus 2x into x naught. This is the equation of phreatic line and it is parabolic in nature. Now, when you substitute some values of x, x 0 means x point and x can be up to 62.93 which is this point and vertically it goes up to here. So when you substitute the value of x, we already know x naught, we will get these values and when you plot these values, you will get a result. Now correction. Now one thing you should keep in mind is that the phreatic line is parabolic but the starting point isn't across this face directly. It will start somewhere here and exit the face perpendicularly. Exit the face as well as enters the face perpendicularly. So we have already found the equation. Now it's time for correction. Now let's see how it is corrected. Phreatic line is perpendicular to off stream face. So correction needs to be done as so our new phreatic line will be starting from this point.
and also the phreatic line exits normally from the drain pipe as so this is where how the phreatic line exits hence our phreatic line becomes So this is our phreatic line. Parabolic exits and enters normal. Thank you for watching. If you are new, please subscribe, like, share, and comment, and click the bell icon for notification.